I just thought I'd show you uh, a machine because every time you see one you probably see lots of lights and shit on it but this is actually what it looks like in the daytime uh, around the outside of the machine is a big tin can which um, holds a lot of magnetic energy at the bottom of the machine a magnets located at strategic position magnetize the can which is the thing on the outside of it and basically this machine contains a lot of these things ferrite magnets plus crunched up neobidinium magnets which is what these are and there's the top you can see what it looks like right there huh? that's what's going to be flying in a minute I'm going to set this camera up now so that you can see exactly how I start it and exactly what I can do with it so just Bear with me. Oh yeah, here it That's a dog. And that's a Cartman. Okay, they're both extreme scientists as well. And they've both got a lot to say about what I'm doing. Okay, I'm just going to set this up so you can see it. I think it's about it. Here we go. Oh, I have a bourbon here, you know, it keeps me, uh, keeps me reasonably pissed. And I love a sake, guys. Sake's very nice. Geki Khan. Okay, so there's the top. See what it looks like. It's called a lift plate. Not a bad design. The whole machine's basically recycled. You can see here, again, the can is magnetised. I can adjust this magnet slide it or I can move the top magnet to adjust the, the rate of height of this top. However, it's sitting perfectly and it's perfectly weighted and perfectly balanced so it's in harmony. Allah, I shall start it. I'll do it again. It's a fast spin, you can hear it sort of like making a bit of a blasting sound. Lift it up now and I'm just going to adjust it slightly by tilting the top magnet so it doesn't fly at the camera. A good spin. Spinning at about 3000 RPM there. And there it is. There it was. One more go. Okay, slowing it down. You can't have it over speeding. Into the fields. Okay, a bit more adjustment back. Again, just trial and error. But I usually get it sooner than later. interact with it. The energy coming up through this machine at the moment is extremely nice. It feels warm. The whole machine feels very warm. I can actually move the top up if I wish. I'll just get it running a bit smoother. It's called tickling it. And I'll move it up. Just with my own energy. I can feel a very, very warm feeling on my hands now. Very nice. Very, 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 very nice. Not going to make a liar out of me. I'll show you. Okay, I moved it up. Seriously. Okay. It was a bit of a good spin. I spin really, really fast. Very fast spin. See how it overspeeds? I like it like that. And I move it up, I use the magnetic fields as a brake, and then straight up into the, into the zero gravity zone. Okay, we can hit up with a bit of light energy. I don't know how that's going to look to you, but it feels pretty good to me. I'm going to take the lift plate out. Whoop, try it again. And you can have a look at some light energy. You know, if more people built magnetic machines, then wage wars would be a lot better off. I believe these machines uh, mean a lot. I think that they're capable of communicating through resonant frequencies. I think that basically the uh, energy out of them is what we're looking for. It's uncharted. I believe it works empathetically, em em empathy. It has empathy with us. And you can see now that I'm actually moving my own, using my energy to bring it up. 
you really you don't have to think about it. It just does it. I think telekinesis or telepathicness or whatever you call it is just overrated, really. That feels really nice. Whoa! But there you go, guys. A demonstration of how to fly a magneto. <laughs> whatever. A magnetic machine. And basically, we'll see if we can get it together again. One more flight. Pretty close. I'm just going to adjust the magnet that way a little bit. Slide it a bit back. It's all part of the act, really. You've just got to have a little bit of um, feeling and empathy for what you're doing. And away you go. It's only taken me about 11 years to get this far, but I love it. And I'm very, very humbled and proud to be able to use these uh, machines and design them. Every machine is different that I build. And it's just neat fun. So guys, with lots of love and gratitude, and uh, I hope that um, the people that really mean business, i.e. the right workers.